Peace and love, everybody, from Veg. I'm standing here in my backyard, which is kind of noisy, which is why I don't usually do the outside. So I decided today to venture outside of my comfort zone in the basement at Armpit Studios and enjoy the beautiful day. Now, I never do this because of the noise. There's always noise around here. I mean, my backyard is full of trees and life and and the rest of the world is encroaching on me. Uh, buses, planes, power tools, dogs barking. So occasionally you can hear birds singing. And that's the wonderful thing about living here. I can't think of anything else that would I can say that would be wonderful about living here. I'd like to talk about what's happened to society in the middle class uh, since I was a boy in the 1960s and what's going on uh, and what has gone on for the last 50 or 60 years. And it involves, uh, of course, globalization, deindustrialization, income inequality. You've heard all the stories before. The decline of unions. Uh, and then you had people like Margaret Thatcher, and she was promoting uh, free trade, globalization, Ronald Reagan, Milton Friedman, the whole cast of characters. It set us on this course to uh, lower standards of living, uh, more people dropping out of the middle class and becoming poor, the rise in homelessness. Yes. We have people like Maggie Thatcher and Ronald Reagan and uh, Milton Friedman to thank for all that. And of course it was put on to steroids and I remember the big debate here in Canada, should we have free trade with the US? And of course uh, the political class was going, yes, this will be great. And people were actually convinced that uh, free trade with the U.S. meant that we could go over the border and buy anything and take it back duty-free. Ha <laughs> ha, no, sorry. The free trade was only for manufacturers and rich people. Uh, the rest of us, no, we still had to pay tariffs on everything. But, you know, that's just the way things normally work, right? I mean, all the the prosperity that uh, used to uh, flow across things pretty evenly you know, when tax rates were higher for billionaires. But then since this laissez-faire economics thing just, ah, ah, and it was pushed and pushed, and it was considered a failure 20 years ago, 30 years ago. But no, it had to be done because the wallets of the greedy were not full enough. They didn't have enough cars. They didn't have enough mansions. They didn't have their own private island. And now, as things move further to the right and we find everything closing in on us and the world is on fire, it's okay. We can solve it by incorporating fascism into society. Ah, uh, here we go again. Humans are so stupid. Anyway, not you, because you're watching The Aging Hippie Show. So uh, you're one of the good ones, right? I'm tired of this whole world. And luckily, I'm an old man, and I don't have to deal with this for much longer. And I think I'm the most fortunate of people, because I see young people who have never had a chance. They've never had a chance to live their life, to experience joy, to experience all the things that I used to experience in my younger years. Perhaps some of that is not the best thing to have experienced, but it was, I, was, I had the chance. My generation 
had the chance to turn things around and sadly to say they never even considered it for a moment. What kind of a world are we heading for? Well, it looks pretty scary at this point. And you know how sometimes they say more happens in one month sometimes than happens in five years? Well, I think that it's probably more has happened uh, politically than has happened in the last 15 years. See, there's the traffic going again. Every time I try and come out here and film, there's traffic, there's airplanes, there's buses, eh, there's everything. Living in the city is a drag, so I have fashioned this wild oasis in my backyard. Your eyes are lying to you. Don't believe what you see and half of what you hear. Don't believe anything, but believe in peace, love, compassion, and understanding. Do I have to keep saying it over and over again? <sighs> Loneliness has become epidemic because nobody wants to socialize anymore. Nobody wants to get together at the local pub and just start talking to people and exchanging ideas. We're all walled off by this thing called the internet. And, we, and I've seen it happen gradually, gradually, gradually. Nobody goes out to hear music, at least here anymore. You can't afford it. Sieg Heil. Yes, let's everybody get used to. Uh, let's, let's get used to just allowing any shred of democracy uh, to be stripped away, never to be returned to us. I see it here in Canada as well as the States. But I thought I would take this moment of quiet just to, just to say peace and love, everybody. Let's start another hippie movement. I think, I think there is a, a great deal of support for this idea. Now, I have recently had comments from young people, uh, some in Germany and uh, people all over the world, who actually want to have a peaceful planet, who want to have nature thrive again but unfortunately we've all been brainwashed into this culture where we think we need more and more and more no matter how much we have we need more and this is the unfortunate thing of course I'm speaking from the point of view of somebody who's been on this earth for 67 years and I have never seen things as bad as they are now both politically, uh, environmentally, everything's screwed up. I haven't, uh, I haven't posted since la two weeks ago, so this is the first time in two weeks, and I got kind of frustrated. YouTube sent me a thing after I, uh, <coughs> after I posted the devil's lettuce, and apparently it wasn't suitable for people under 18 so they restricted it and I don't, know, I don't care but it's all stuff that's freely available <laughs> to kids that are mm, under 18 what talking about Louis Armstrong and, and and smoking weed I think that's you know that's just normal life right anyway thank you for listening to this ranting insane old man and uh, I hope that you'll leave comments for me. I mean, in my dreams, everybody shares stuff, you know. And uh, but uh, anyway, uh, leave your comment. Uh, share it if you're on uh, anti-social media because I'm not on anti-social media and I don't put it up anywhere but YouTube. It's an exclusive club, and you're in it. And uh, I don't know if you want to be in it, but you're in it. So uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you shortly. Or not. It depends. Depends on a lot of things, actually. Anyway, good to see you. Keep safe, everyone. Watch out for the fires, because they're coming our way. Oh, watch out for the Civil War and, and the floods. And... I tell you, it's hard being a hippie these days. Good night. <laughs>